lot of explanation what we just witnessed was a trifling skank tell this little baby and he a baby he has no concept of right or wrong he does not understand at all what is being what he's doing he doesn't know he's stealing anything he does not know that this is wrong OK, he's just at a toddler phase like you could probably argue that he's still a toddler. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's got to be what, five, maybe four or five, something like that. She starts walking off. The level of manipulation that we see here, we take an innocent baby who has no concept of right or wrong. He does not know that he's stealing anything. He doesn't know that he, he is in his mind. He's being obedient. He's being a good baby. His mother told him to go and get something. And he went up there to get it. She begins to walk off, making him frantic and running after her. Because he doesn't want to be left behind. He believes that he has done something good. Because his mom told him. That. To do that. And so he gets it. And he tries to bring it to her. Too cowardly. To get your fat behind up there. And do, it, do your own dirty work. Not that we advocate any thieving. But at least if you're going to be a thief, let you be the thief. Why you put it up to the baby to do it? Why you put it up to the baby? With your big back, I can see your back from here. And you're going to point that baby up, put him up there to do something that, that and you don't tell him it's wrong. He don't know no better. He just trying to do what you say. And it's the level of manipulation. Now, when he grows up and starts committing different little crimes that she taught him, she taught him how to steal things. So if he grow up stealing things, he can thank her directly. For teaching him the lesson. And this is how the pathologies are passed. From one generation to the next. By these heifers. The video to me is so disgusting. Because. To th see sexually is not the only way to groom children. You can groom a child to do anything, to be anything. This will be her strong arm. This is going to be her son, husband. This is going to be the person that she either sets up for jail or burial because she will consistently put him in situations that jeopardize his freedom 
or his life. She will consistently do this. And she's grooming him for it at an age where he has zero defense against anything because he's a baby. And he doesn't know anything other than what she tell him. That's all he know. That's all he know. A blameless, innocent baby. And she's going to groom him to be the man of the house. She's going to emotionally abuse him. She's going to psychologically abuse him. She's going to verbally abuse him. She's going to berate him. She's going to beat all of the rebellion out of him that is directed towards her. And she's going to turn him into one of those angry young men. That's not quite sure why he has such a love-hate relationship with his mother. Why he loves her and loathes her at the same time. Why he feels such a fierce loyalty to her and simultaneously can't stand her guts. I was very disturbed by all the implications of the video. Somebody said in the comments the same thing. Take him, take him, take him. She's going to lead that baby to nothing but death or prison. And that's, exa that's, exactly, that's exactly where this little boy is headed. Under her watch, he don't got no hope. She got this baby committing crimes, but before he know what a crime he is. She got this baby committing crimes before she know what a crime is. So because he thinks this is a good thing, he will begin to take things from wherever he sees them because he doesn't know that it's wrong. And he's going to be shocked when somebody doesn't want him to do that. The first time that he gets a negative reaction for it, He's not going to understand why it was a negative reaction. He's going to go to school and he's going to take things. And he's not going to understand why the other children do not want him to do this. That they that Why they don't want him to take their crayons or take their toy. He's not going to understand when the teacher reprimands him about not taking things. Because you would assume that a child would first be taught the morality of stealing versus not stealing by their mothers and fathers at home. He's not going to, the first time he starts getting negative consequences for the things that he's been taught to do and not understanding that they were wrong in the first place, so when he goes out into the world, and not, I don't mean as an adult, I mean as a child, I mean in school, I mean when he's not around her, and he does the things that he has been taught to do, not knowing that they're wrong and not expecting a negative response, he's going to be shocked. He's going to cry. He's going to be confused. He might even become angry that because he's not going to understand everybody else's reaction. Because in his world, this is acceptable. I mean, he his mother told him that, that he could do this. So, I mean, why would you be getting bent out of shape? So if he sees crayons on another kid's desk, he's just going to walk over there and he's going to take it. Because he doesn't know that if the crayons don't belong to him, then he should not take those crayons. Do you understand? She teaching him how to do this is like this is like when they teach little girls how to hoe. This is the same thing. It's just a boy. And she teaching him how to be a criminal. In the same in the same age bracket where there's no defense, doesn't know any better. So 
he's just doing what his mom says. I mean, after all, if, if he doesn't do what his mom says, I mean, she's more than likely giving him plenty of negative consequences for quote unquote being hard headed with her. So of course he did what she wanted him to do. It's just like when they do it to little girls and they teach them how to hoe and then get surprised when the girls start hoeing, right? Or when a little girl doesn't know that she's not supposed to do that. Gonna get mad at this one when he gets into in and out of trouble with the law. She's gonna start yelling at him. Why are you always bringing the police around here? And da, da 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 da. Because you taught him how to be a criminal before a time where he even understands the concepts at all. He don't know nothing. That baby can't be more than five years old. Four five years old. He can't be. That's a baby. And she ought to be hogtied somewhere. 